Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at the intro to Layla by Derek and the Dominoes, played by Eric Clapton, of course. Alright, so it's got the riff down here in the lower octave, and then he takes it up a couple octaves and plays a basically a variation of it. I'm sure you guys all know it by heart anyway. So let's take a look at it. We're going to start here on the open A string and hammer on to the uh, third fret. Then come over to the D string and hit it open, hammer on to the third fret as well, and pull back off to the open string. Do those together. Come back over to the third fret on the fifth string, and then back to the open D. By the way, every picked note in this can be done with a downstroke, so if you don't feel like doing any upstrokes, you're in luck. So. Even the low part or the high part, just if you see me pick something, if it's not a hammer on or pull off, you can use a downstroke. Let's put all that together. All right, now while that open string is ringing, jump up to the fifth fret here. You're gonna play a power chord off the fifth fret on the A string, fifth fret on the A string, and then seventh fret on the D. You're gonna pick those two notes and slide them down two frets. And then move down two more frets and pick it. Same chord shape. So we have the first one was a slide. You don't slide from three to one though. All together. All right. So now the next part, after you play that chord, you're gonna hit. You're gonna pick up your first finger basically. You're going to hit the open A string with that third fret on the D. And reach over with your third finger and grab the third fret on the low E string. Then move over and play the power chord there, the third fret again. And then lift up and have the open A with that fifth fret um, on the D string. And then grab the. Uh, that third fret again on the low E. So let's do it from the slide up here. You just end it with the power chord there at the fifth fret. All together, real slow. All right, now we're going to take it up a couple of octaves, and the first phrase is going to sign this. All right, so he's putting some vibrato on the notes that he's holding, so just keep that in mind. You really, that's where you have to do it to make it sing. We're going to do the hammer on now from the 10th fret to the 13th fret on the B string. Then over on the high E string, you're going to hammer again from 10 to 13, then pull back off to 10. Over to the 13 on the B, back to the 10 on the high E. So we have this. You're picking the first note basically on each string. All right. So that was a whole step bend there, the 13th fret on the high E. Then you bring it back down and just pick 13. And then 12. Then over to the 13 on the B string, to the 10th fret on the high E. All 
all together. All right, the next phrase sounds like this. All right, so that starts the same way as the first one. But the second half now is a bend, whole set bend at the 15th fret. Then 15, um, just normal. 12, then 13, 15 on the B string. All right, then we go back to the first version of that riff. And now we're back to the second version of it. Now the only difference there, this was the same as like, when we, it's basically two, two riffs together. Before we went, play 13 to 15. Here instead, the last time he plays it, he does that same thing, but he stops on the 13 and does a slow half step bend to where it sounds like you're playing at the 14th fret, okay? So he basically raises it to that major third in A. Um, and then it goes to the verse, all right? So it's uh, pretty simple to understand, but you really need to concentrate getting those bends in tune and getting some vibrato on the notes, especially in the high part. Um, uh, that's where the bends are in the long run, but you want to make sure you focus on that to really make it sing and uh, give it the sound that, that it has on the recording. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.